What's the crack lads? Welcome back and what's new Thursday? I'm going to show you everything. So we get a brand new campaign that's going to be ongoing for the next couple of days. That would bring us up to eFootball25 or as it's simply going to be known now, eFootball, right? We've got a special login present. These five players that you see here, Carlos Cafu, Stoichkov, Danielson and Van der Vaart. You get a cheeky little trailer here. The new season kicks off soon. Carlos is definitely the top pick here. He's probably one of my favorite players in the game. The rest of the players are okay, depending on when you get them, right? Now, you will get one free spin off the rip, okay? But you will also get four spins from playing against the AI event. And obviously, Rui Costa and the boys are still ongoing. So we will get our login bonus, and we also get our national come and, see, come and soon campaign, as well as a free kit from Corinthians as well. And then also on top of that as well, we have a teamed event to get three highlight Corinthian players with that kit, right? Now, everything else that's announced or whatever, there isn't much here, only a couple of name changes. I'm not even going to get into that at the moment. Um, but this free chance deal and this free kit here, they are going to be in your inbox. This free chance deal, if you want to get more than one spin, you do have to play against the AI and you have to play online in the objectives. We'll show you that in a second, but this is the pack. So you've got 50 players in this pack, you get one free spin at this, and then you'll also be able to continue to spin through it, right? So as I said, Carlos Cafu, Stoichkov, Van der Vaart, and Danielson, you get one free spin, and then you can, you know, you get another four spins if you want to. Like, let's see who we get. Oh, of course, it's nobody. Now, it will depend on where you get your luck from, right? Because if you want another spin, right, that will disappear, that box. If you want another spin, you need to complete the objectives, right? So they've added a brand new campaign for the objectives here that you see, and that's going to be all of these here. So the coming soon, you just have these here, and then you need to win six matches against the AI, six matches against online in any mode or anything, um, and then obviously you will get another four spins. So listen, you could get lucky and get Carlos or Cafu, or you could get five players that you just never use and just release, right? Now, other than that, we don't have any changes really to the match pass, the eFootball League or anything like that. But these events here will be tied to the new campaign as well. And this is going to be ongoing for six days. As normal, you get your coins and your skill trainers. And with these, you get your free, your free spins and your free player of the week spins, as well as your skill trainers, okay? So speaking of skill trainers and the new players that are here as well, we do have the brand new uh, big time pack, right? So they haven't actually replaced this one here, um, which are sorry. They haven't replaced the national team selections yet. But they do have added the player of the week in the summer transfer showtime. You've got Michael Olise, you've got Calafiori, and you've got Kamada in a box here. Blitz curler of Michael Olise is going to be the pick of them. You've also got a couple of nice players in here. Zelinski's there, Mintez there. You've got Jorgensen and, and uh, Heiberg, Brian Gill, Matson. There's some nice players in here, but obviously the pick of them is probably Mali uh, Olise here. He definitely looks really, really good. He's got a blitz curler. Visionary pass for Kamada, but the blitz curler Michael Olise is probably the main man here. Looks very, very solid. Can play AMF, left wing, right wing, or right mid. Very, very nice. Good skills. Pretty much good everything. Really nice shooting skills. Give him one touch pass. Maybe low lofted pass if you're playing him as a creative. Probably the only letdown on him is a creative playmaker as playstyle. That's the only thing. Calafiore, a lot of people looking at him as well. Obviously, he gets a booster to his speed and dueling with that. Man mark and interception area superiority. He doesn't have a big time or showtime skill, but his stats do look really, really nice with that 44 levels, lads. This is going to definitely be a meta center back if people are looking for something a little bit different. And build up center backs at the moment, they are very, very strong if you kind of manually defend them a little bit and position them. And then you got Kamada there as well as a visionary pass hole player, which again, looks pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. He looks pretty decent. Got some visionary pass play, player skill there and some nice skills as well. We'll do a review and a build of all of those. If you guys want them, let me know in the comments below. The player of the week, right? So let's see how many we're actually right with. We had Endrick, we had Haaland, we had Romero. Um, we had Son, I think that was meant to be there as well. You've got Barcola from PSG. You've got Kubo, you've got Galeno, you've got Savage, Fred, Marcus Lorente and Madwike. Uh, I mean, it's a fairly good Cavares there as well as an AMF. He's playing AMF now. It's a fairly okay player of the week pack, but you guys know my feelings on player of the week. You've still got Haaland with 55 balance and 68 type possession. A lot of people could persist with using Haaland lads. He just is not usable in the game unless you shoot on site. Endrick is probably the pick of him. I would really like Endrick. Um, his standard card is beastly, but his standard card or the card that was there last week is, is pretty much the same as this with how he trains up. But I would like that card. Um, but that is the player of the week uh, selection there. Madweke, of course, he scored and he gets the booster. Very, very nice. Finishing could be a bit higher though, man. I definitely think his finishing should be higher than that, to be honest with you. 
that is the player of the week and then we also have as i said the corinthians pack and these packs all ongoing other than that lads there isn't really much here i mean they haven't really replaced anything else they've got these two still left all the rest of the packs are gone the perez pack is gone there isn't anything really else there's a couple of live data update stuff uh, gone as well but it's all about these these packs man and the player of the weeks and stuff like that there's nothing else really going on we do have our daily game going on as well but there's nothing added with the eFootball points there's nothing added with anything we will be getting a brand new pack next monday which seems to be raul and zaggy and stoichkovic and I do think that if they are going to add some stuff um, to the shop, they're probably going to do it, you know, quite soon because there is nothing in the shop at the moment, you know, apart from a strip. And uh, obviously, if you have already got that, then you won't be able to get it again. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's just a short video. You can also get Michael Olise if you haven't already. We have him got here as an exchangeable player for 5,000 uh, eFootball points. Other than that, lads, there's nothing really going on, man, in this. There isn't going to be until September 12th, when that is when the match pass and the eFootball phase and everything is going to be reset, and the new season is going to kick off based on the, you know, what we have in here. And obviously, they've started to tease that now with the, with the coming soon objectives that you see here, which is called simply coming soon. So, yeah, 13 days left in that. That is going to be when it all kicks off. So, let me know what you guys think. I'll be back streaming in a little bit. Hope to see you in the stream and we'll talk about eFootball 25 or simply eFootball and talk about a couple of bits and pieces as well that I've heard. So we will talk to you in a bit. Hope to see you in the stream. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.